Hello everybody, and welcome to the October 2014 edition of the Gaming PC Builds of the Month uh, here at Noob Computer Build. Uh, my name is Corey. Uh, the builds this month are pretty exciting. They've all been revised, they've all changed, and uh, the biggest uh, reason for this is uh, due to uh, NVIDIA's uh, new uh, graphics cards that were released over the last month, which have been incorporated into two of the builds this month, and they have gotten quite the benchmarks, quite the reviews, so uh, stay in tune for that, as well even the lowest budget build, the $600 build, is uh, has changed uh, significantly this or it's changed quite a bit this month, but um, and I only say that because it hasn't changed too much in a little while. Although it is the same processor and such, but uh, I, I made a few other changes which make it a little bit more under budget, which is good, and a little more attractive as a build altogether. Alright, well anyways, let's get started with the $1,500 build here for October 2014. Uh, just a further note, if you want to check out more uh, information on these builds, uh, want to read more, learn more, ask some questions, uh, feel free to visit the blog at noobcomputerbuild.com as well. If you want links to all the hardware, they will be in the description, so check there if you're interested in that. But getting started with a $1,500 build, which does come out to $1,506 currently, um, the processor we have is the i5-4690K for $235.99. Um, this has been the processor for quite a few months, or a few months, I guess, since its release. As well, uh, included is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Cooler for 3441 uh, to be included with the processor in order to overclock the heck out of this thing. Um, and then for the motherboard, we have switched it up to the Asus Z97A ATX board this month for $139.99. And then moving on to the graphics card, this is the newly released GTX 980 graphics card. Um, which is an amazing card. <laughs> you should uh, look up, uh, type in Google uh, GTX 980 benchmarks and you'll see what I mean. Uh, this comes out to right now $549.99 uh, and is highly recommended right now. For RAM, we have 16 gigabyte kit of Crucial Ballistics for $157.99. A one terabyte hard drive for $53.99, the Seagate Barracuda one terabyte. And then to pair with that, we have the Samsung Electronics 840 Pro $104, oh, sorry, just $104 uh, for a boot drive and uh, a drive to include all your games that you're currently playing, perhaps. Uh, highly recommended to get the SSD. If you want, you can get rid of the Seagate Barracuda 1TB and just uh, go with a bigger SSD if you like, but uh, up to you. Uh, this is 1TB does, you know, it's quite a bit if you have a lot of media or games, etc. The power supply for the $1,500 build is the EVGA Supernova 750 watt power supply. Comes out to $112.99 right now. And then the Corsair Vengeance Series Arctic White C70 computer case uh, this month for $98.99. It's a mid-tower case. Um, and it's kind of... Uh, I chose it because I haven't used it in the builds yet. Uh, and so I thought it would be a neat addition. It also look, kind of looks like an ammo case with the kind of uh, the clips that they have and, and the handle that they have at the top to carry it. And then further, without further ado, uh, we have the optical drive, uh, this LG Electronics optical drive for $17.99. Like I said, it comes out to $1,506. Uh, and then for those who have a little more to spend or want some uh, alternative ideas or upgrades for the future, uh, there's also these upgrade suggestions for the $1,500 build, such as if you want an i7, you can go with the i7-4790K uh, for $339.99. You can bump it up to a full tower PC case. Uh, this one is a very nice one and a little expensive, but uh, it's a Corsair Graphite Series 780T, and it is $169.27. <laughs> or you want to go, maybe perhaps you want to go crazy with the graphics, you can SLI, SLI with another Zotac GTX 980 graphics card. It will cost you another $550. Uh, or, like I said, you can go to a larger SSD, such as this Samsung Electronic 840 Pro uh, 512 gigabyte. Uh, and it has gone down significantly in price. Uh, it might be due to Samsung. They have uh, their other, uh, I think it's the 850 uh, that was released last month, uh, which might account for the significant decrease in price of this. So it's a great purchase right now for $307.97. Now for the $1,000 build, uh, for $1,002, so almost on par with the budget. We have, like the $1,500 build, the Intel Core i5-4690K processor, $235.99. Uh, 
I do not include another cooler for this build, only to stay within budget. Like I said, it is $1,002 as it is currently, but to overclock the Intel 4690K, I do suggest getting another cooler such as the one in the $1,500 build, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, which is around $30. So when you have that, or if you don't want to spend that now, uh, I, it is recommended to get that eventually. And then the motherboard, the ASUS Z97A, $139.99. And here's the differing part with the $1,000 build versus the $1,500 build is the graphics card, which is another new one. And it honestly is a really great bang for your buck, really. Uh, the GTX 970, this EVGA GTX 970 for $329.99. That's uh, the ACX version, uh, highly recommended and great bang for your buck. Like I said, for the 1500 or like I said, for the GTX 980, uh, just benchmark GTX 970 benchmarks, sorry, Search GTX 970 benchmarks and uh, you'll see what I mean again. Uh, for RAM, we have 8 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sport, $74.99. The hard drive, the Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte drive for $53.99. Uh, no SSD to accommodate for budget here, but you know it is recommended. You can either swap this uh, Seagate drive for an SSD or you know, add, uh, if you have a little extra to spend, uh, look in the alternatives below and uh, you can add a, a drive there. And then for uh, power supply, we have the EVGA Supernova 650 watt G1 uh, power supply, 7450. And then for a case this month, we have this uh, kind of unique looking Corsair Graphite ser Series 230T, uh, this orange one as seen here for 74.99, which is a great price for this case. It also comes in black and gray, I believe. So if you're not a fan of a flashy orange case, you can get a black or gray version. And then the optical drive is the LG Electronics uh, optical drive here, $17.99. And like I said, it comes out to $1,002. And then for those who have a little extra to spend or want some upgrade ideas um, in, the, for in the future, um, scroll down here. <laughs> uh, we have this SSD here, which is uh, just a 128 gigabyte Samsung Electronic uh, 840 Pro for $104. Or you can SLI perhaps with another GTX 970, another 329.99. Uh, uh, if you want to go with a full tower case, such as this more affordable full tower case, mind you, than I included in the $1,500 build, but uh, this Rosewell Gaming ATX full tower case uh, for uh, the Thor V2 for $109.99. Or perhaps you do need a lot of space in your build. And you can go with this two terabyte Seagate Barracuda for only $83.24, uh, and then you'll have ton, tons of storage. And now, uh, yeah, <laughs> now moving on to the $600 build. The $600 build comes out to currently $588, so well under budget, but for the same performance as previous months. Uh, you will notice, well, the processor we use is the AMD FX6300, $112.29. Same processor, so uh, nothing's changed there. And then the motherboard is this Gigabyte AM3 Plus uh, Micro ATX uh, motherboard, the GA78LMT, uh, for $58.99. Uh, this is where it's changed. So this is a Micro ATX versus a full ATX size motherboard. So I have kind of shrunk this build a bit to, sorry, uh, to be a little more, <coughs> um, I guess, attractive as a as a budget build, because um, it is the same performance. In, in the build, except it'll look, you'll see the case I chose is a better case due to the saved uh, a little bit of a cash getting a mic this micro ATX board. Although altogether you have the same amount of RAM, same processor and same graphics card to accommodate for the build. So you're not losing out on performance whatsoever. Um, so for the graphics card, we have the XFX double D R9 X uh, for $189.99, eight gigabyte crucial ballistic sport, $74.99 for the RAM, uh, one terabyte Seagate Barracuda, $53.99. Uh, power supply, Corsair Builder Series CX500 watt, uh, $49.99. And then the case you see here is this Cougar Spike Case Mini Gaming Tower. So it's a micro ATX. It's a much nicer looking case than we've usually included in the $600 build. And that's because we're able to choose a kind of a more affordable, smaller, compact, more attractive case for this build, which I think is great. So for your $600 build, which comes up to $588, uh, it'll look like a great build and you know perform really well for the price. So this case comes up to $34.99. And then the optical drive is this LG Electronics uh, optical drive for $17.99.
And so, like I said, 588, well under $600, maybe a little room for a little extras if you want, but uh, up to you. Uh, looking into the alternatives or upgrade ideas for this build, uh, I've included, let's see, let's scroll down. Oh, I've also in the article on the site, I included this video here. I didn't do the video, but uh, it's a good one that I stumbled across on YouTube on how to overclock the FX6300 processor. Uh, this video does go, does do a good job of explaining that. So some upgrade ideas. You can get this AMD 8 core FX series uh, processor. Uh, it's a great price right now, uh, $139. Uh, or you can get a better graphics card such as this Radeon R9 280. Uh, you can add a SSD. So this uh, Samsung Electronics 840, uh, 128 gigabyte one, or sorry, 120 gigabyte one for 8543. In this case, or you want to upgrade to a better micro ATX case. This one's $89.99. Uh, this Corsair Carbide Series Air 240, which is a brand new case uh, within the last month or so, just, just released, but uh, it's a fairly attractive case uh, in my opinion. So if you do want to upgrade the case to a more attractive case, here's one here. Uh, and so that does it for this month for the October 2014 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. Um, like I said, all the hardware is linked in the description. And uh, as well, the link to this actual article on the site is also in the description. So feel free to visit, learn more about the builds, uh, comment, ask questions, uh, whatever you like. And until next month, see you later.